I'm Neha. I'm founder of brand Clovia. Clovia is a lingerie brand that has now forayed into loungewear, activewear, um, and recently into personal care as well. It's a brand centered around joy. The purpose of our life, the purpose of our brand is to deliver joy to our girls. Um, we've been, over last five years, we've been able to build a very intimate and, uh, you know, trust, uh, uh, trusting relationship with our customers. Uh, where our users know that we understand their, um, you know, the problems that they face, that they're not able to share with their friends, family, sometimes even mothers. And those are the kind of problems that they come and share with us and, that's, and, and we'll go out looking solutions for them. Largely, India, if you see, there is not really a single national brand when it came to bras and briefs. Everybody was making just two or three styles and, you know, very limited sizes. And nobody was able to distribute across India because India is not just one market. It's, it's a multitude of markets, multitude of different, a multitude of body types, shapes. You know, women come in all shapes and sizes. Um, uh, combined to it, age, season, uh, life stage. Um, and how we tackle this problem? Because in, an, in a business like ours, where inventory can really make it or break it, um, we use technology and data uh, of you know, very well. So one, we built a lot of triggers to capture feedbacks from our customers, real-time feedbacks. Um, because internet is like a democracy, you know, you can either, uh, you put your idea out and customers will either vote you in or vote you out. So that was the general idea. We started to listen to customers deeply. So today we, we've gathered about a million plus product feedbacks. Every day about uh, 250 plus girls still write to us directly on the platform. Um, and uh, we have by now about 160 million data points that we crunch to get, uh, you know, get to an optimum solution for our customers, for our users, to get to, uh, you know, the production planning uh, for next 30 to 45 to 60 days so that our, you know, our shop is best stocked. Uh, and not just online, but also offline, because now we ventured offline and, you know, there the problem is still the same. You know, you only have 200 square feet to display your best. Um, and you want to make sure that you have the, you are in the right price range, right fabric and right size ratio. So that's, uh, you know, our algorithm that predicts that plans for demand and plans for production helps us there as well. This thing, uh, our brand is built on the premise that we are listening into customers. So we listen very sharply and a lot of them also write some, uh, you know, in whatever, uh, a lot of time only their emotions are captured in words. It's not very articulate in what uh, they want, but we capture it. And another thing that we did long back when we started Clovia at that time, you know, I traveled to Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and where not. And everybody in China, different factories said no to me because I wanted, uh, I was speaking to them about creating short, smaller batches for design that we wanted to introduce. And they said, no, okay, five, 10,000 pieces is a minimum that we want to uh, manufacture because otherwise there's no efficiency in our manufacturing. So when we raised seed fund, we, we took some part of our seed fund and we got uh, professionals in these factories who were working as production in charges or quality in charges, basically people who were in charge of efficiency and quality on the floor. We said, you join us in this madness. So they became entrepreneurs like us and they set up um, their factories with some help from us in terms of uh, you know, initial capital to buy machinery. And we, we booked their order books for a year and so they so they didn't have to worry sales and getting stuck with no sales. So their order books were uh, uh, were full by uh, filled by us for a year and plus. Um, so then we we could ask them to make even short batches, even two hundred fifty pieces trial batch or eight hundred pieces trial batch. So today, if we see something which is slightly off center, it's not something which is asked by many. We can still do it. We can do it with just five eight hundred pieces and see what's the response. And sometimes we are pleasantly surprised that. You know, this is a problem that few say, but the few is also by itself across India, quite a few. In our country, for some reason, was the most boring category. People just like black, beige, white, uh, not to be spoken of, cotton, very basic, not interesting at all. So, and we, you know, a bunch of, at least at that time, young beings, we, we wanted to make it cool. We wanted to make, speak, we thought only if it's cool, then will people speak about it. So we imparted education also in a very fun and, interesting format we, we we said let's not buy so why be so serious you know why so serious and let's have uh, everything spoken about in a cheerful youthful uh,
uh, we track every rupee like a maniac. We, we track every rupee in terms of the impact when a rupee spent or the impact that it made. Uh, one is a very direct business goal where you see the impact on sales. But the second is a larger, slightly vague uh, goal, which is on brand equity, brand salience. And for that, yes, there are certain um, uh, certain metrics that we've put in place and we do uh, uh, very, uh, very actively research amongst our consumer base and not consumer base to see you know, whether our awareness index, our consideration index has improved. Um, and also the one thing we track um, usually is our NPS, which is net promoter scores, uh, which uh, typically tells us how likely our customers uh, willing uh, to recommend us to their family and friends. That's the two cent uh, test of any brand if, if it's being recommended. And today about 25% of our business anyway comes from word of mouth and referrals. That's one metric that, that one can track when we, when we do marketing. We see how that index is moving. Second is, uh, second is of course, our net promoter scores, which is consistently in uh, at about 75%. Um, but third is our research where when I do research and it's a, uh, it's a, then it's obviously amongst less of so the sample size is less, but there we see that 84% of our customer base has either been recommended Clovia or has recommended Clovia. So it's a very, very, I think, strong parameter. And that's, that's, that's something we keep tracking to ensure that that doesn't drop. 